Hey guys and welcome to this Fizz Guide. In this video I'll cover a couple of points. Firstly, Champion Select. This will teach you how to set up your Masteries, Runes and Summoner spells. Then we'll cover the laning phase, or you could say the early game, including items of course. At last I'll teach you how to play in teamfights to get the most out of Fizz. Please enjoy the video. Let's get started with Champion Select. For summoner spells you should definitely go for Ignite and Flash. Ignite allows you to all in more effectively, while Flash allows you to either escape or to engage from far away. I use extremely offensive masteries to get the most out of Fizz's all in potential. I've got 27 points in the offense tree and 3 points in the utility tree. If you want to take a closer look, there is a link in the description with a screenshot of my mastery page. For runes you should take 9 greater marks of hybrid penetration, 9 greater seals of armor, 9 greater glyphs of magic resist and 3 greater quintessence of ability power. Wow, that was hard to spell. <laughs> Again, I have all the runes listed in the description in case you were interested. Once that is all said and done, we can move over to the laning phase. The items that work best on level 1 against poke champions is crystalline flask and 3 health potions. If you're playing against non-range champion, you can grab a Dorance ring and 2 health potions. Here you can see an overlay of what items to get in which order. You can pause the video here or take a look at the item build in the description if you want to copy this build for your games. Also for skill order you take a look at the description below. During the first two levels you will have to play relatively safe, because you need at least all of your three skills if you want to fight. Take the farm without getting too much harass and take your potions to stay healthy during these levels. Level 3 is one of Fizz's power spikes, because he can almost out damage every single champion on level 3. Make sure the lane is frozen and try to all in your opponent. Before doing this, make sure you have your trinket ward placed, because junglers often know that Fizz goes for an all in on level 3. Start your all in by activating your W and using your Q after that. This provides you with a ton of damage to start off with. Once you are close to your enemy, keep auto attacking your enemy as much as you can to make good use of his W. Try to save your E for the last moment. You can dive him if you still have your E available. This skill dodges everything including turret shots. Use it to either escape or to deal the last bit of damage. Play aggressive against your opponent from level 3 and on. Don't miss out on your farm though. It's important to farm it up to become relevant during the mid game. You can also choose to push the lane and roam around to grab kills on other lanes. This is why most Fizz is max your E. It is a great tool to push your lane fast. The other reason why you max your E is because of its cooldown decrease. And it is your main tool to outplay your opponent. On level 6 you have an insane burst ability. It would be nice if you have already picked up your Sheen at your base as an item, because you will significantly increase your burst damage. Because it is relatively hard to hit your ult from a distance, it is recommended to get close before using your ultimate. Engage with your W and Q to get close, and then use your ultimate from close range to secure the lock on. From that point it's just about auto attacking and using your E and ignite. Usually when you hit your ultimate you provide yourself with a kill. The damage coming out of it is much greater than most mid laners. If you use your E to dodge an important skill from your opponent, there is almost no way to lose the 1v1. But please, make sure you have warded your lane or else you risk dying to a jungler. Another tip is to be careful when using your E to farm. A good enemy acts to it and will try to all in you once your E is on cooldown. Only use your E to farm when you know you are safe. That is pretty much all for the laning phase. After playing him for a couple of games you will know what kind of damage Fizz is capable of dealing and then you will start wrecking your lane. Team fighting can be a bit harder as Fizz. The problem is, everyone always focuses Fizz because he's just so dangerous. Once you get into a team fight, you will notice how everyone turns around trying to kill you. This is why you need to get a Zonya's Hourglass fairly quickly. The item allows you to survive much longer during team fights. Also, people will be distracted for a longer period of time because they will wait for the Zonyas to run out. Use your E to make yourself untargetable in fights first, then use your Zonyas. The time of the duration of the Zonyas will most likely make your E available again. Now you can survive with the E after coming out of your Zonyas. Your focus is on the AD carry or the mid laner. If you hit your ult on either of those two, it will be relatively easy to burst them down. 
If you cannot bear them down because they are protected by their team, make sure you distract them as long as you can by using the technique with the Zonyas. Wait for your team to clean the fight up. That is the team fighting side of Fizz. But because you are an assassin as well, you are able to split push really effectively. Split pushing is only recommended for the people who have experience with it. You must master your mechanics in order to be able to 1v1 effectively, and you must have a good map awareness and wards to make sure you cannot get ganked. However, if you have both of these things, you will be able to put a lot of pressure on the enemy team by split pushing. They have to send two players to you to kill you, meaning that your team has a 4v3 somewhere else. Communicate it with your team and tell them what to do or else it will not work. That should be enough to get you started with Fizz. These are the main rules that you will have to use in your game. Of course you will have to figure out how and when to use these mechanics effectively. The most important thing is mastering your E. This skill can dodge anything. Don't only use it to deal damage, use it to deal damage and to dodge a cruiser skill shot from your enemy. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video and most of all learned something from it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and feel free to like this video as this video will get easier to find. If you're looking for more of these guys, you can also subscribe. Good luck with your games and I'll see you the next time in yet another HD commentary.